Well, hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Um, I also like to uh, uh, help you tackle everyday problems in the world when a neurotypical is being, yes, being a quote unquote, a pain in the butt. Yes, that is a catchphrase that um, I, that I said back in in 2007 for a, a video at a formal and I, several people like that phrase so much that I'm going to continue to use it because I think it might be viral and <laughs> whatever but um, I, I also like again to talk about what it is like for me to live on the spectrum now eventually I would like to turn my blog series into a mini Good Morning America for the geek world and I'd like to talk to um, scientists at Georgia's Institute, Institute of Technology and Georgia State University's Science Department and uh, yes eventually I would like to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Dr. Temple Grandin because she herself is on the spectrum and she considers herself a geek and she just, she's so unique and so amazing. I mean, she's one of my new inspirations. Um, and then I would like to go go down and not, not talk about the latest fall, tre fall trends, but talk about the latest costume trends at Dragon Con and Comic Con and have conversations with Stan Lee and not just talk about where he was born, but talk about the depth of his comic books like Spider-Man. <laughs> you know, different things like that. Um, and I'd also like to do some live shows at Dragon Con, because most recently I had a press pass there, and I, uh, I'm hoping to get a press pass there again this uh, Labor Day weekend. But anyway, right now I'm going to talk about what, talk about my experiences of living with autism. And um, what am I going to talk about? Drum roll, please. Autism and dating. Um, now, I know that for people on the autism spectrum, a dating has, you know, in this culture anyway, has become an incredibly big deal. I have met several people that want to get married and they want to have children and they want, they just, they want a family. And they are having trouble because of their social skills. And I remember back in school when I had such poor social skills and I just, I was the most awkward and hyper thing, like, I don't know, maybe Pinky, Pink Amina Diane Pie from My Little Pony. Um, I was, and I remember um, wanting a date for uh, my junior prom so bad and feeling left out and feeling heartbroken when some of the other kids in my special education class got dates and I didn't. And I remember uh, sitting down, like, sitting down and uh, putting my head on a table of melting ice cream and crying the entire night at the prom because I didn't have a, a guy on my arms and it hurt. Um, and I remember um, uh, through my mid-teen years all through my 30s thinking that dating was such a big deal but as I started to mature I had a chance to go on a few dates and um, from my own experiences Dating is highly overrated and it is incredibly tedious. Why? Number one, they talk, you know, uh, you're just basically getting to know the other person and you're basically going to see if they're the right one for you. I mean, there are no flowers, there are no chocolates, there, there's no, uh, there are no dripping candles, there's no champagne. It's just, where do you work? Where do you work? Where are you from? Tell me about your family. Just different, you know, little information like that. Just, there's nothing that exciting about it. Uh, my advice for you, autistics, um, yes, I know it's tough, and I know that it bothers you right now that you don't have somebody on your arms, but my advice to you would be to um, practice make. Uh, Practice making friends and developing buddy systems that are going to be positive for you to be around so that you can get out there into the real world and you can get to college and be all that you can be. Um, 
again, um, also, uh, instead of uh, putting your energy and wanting that special someone, uh, go to an autism center or go to a support group and learn new social skills and learn how to be a better friend to somebody else around you and learn how to be aware of, aware of certain things and learn and um, learn the, un, the unwritten rules of our society. Don't go out there and necessarily date. I mean, date, you know, uh, when you're feeling this desperate, just get out there and have a good time. Find things that interest you. Like, uh, join an astronomy club or join a sci-fi club. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Have a good night. <laughs>